Welcome to the lesson on finding the product of decimal numbers. In many ways, multiplying decimals is the same as multiplying whole numbers with one additional step. We will be reviewing the rules for multiplying decimals in this lesson. Consider the following number, 123 and 4,567 ten thousandths. 123 is the whole number part, and 4,567 is the decimal part, the part of the number that is less than 1. When we multiply decimals, there's no need to line up the decimal points. Instead, we only need to know how many decimal places, in total, there are in the numbers to the right of the decimal points. For example, suppose we want to multiply the two numbers together shown on the screen. The first number, 1 and 6 thousandths, has three numbers to the right of the decimal point. The second number, 3 and 24 hundredths, has two decimal places. Therefore, when we have found the product of the numbers 3, 2, 5, 9, 4, 4, we need to place the decimal point so that there are five decimal places. Let's look at another example. 17 and 5 tenths times 69 hundredths. 17 and 5 tenths has one number to the right of the decimal point. 69 hundredths has two numbers to the right of the decimal. Therefore, in total, there are three decimal places that have to appear in the product. The product of the numbers is 1, 2, 0, 7, 5. Placing the decimal point so that there are three decimal places provides a product of 12 and 75 thousandths. One last example, just to be sure you have the placing of the decimal point idea down. I am going to assume that you have no problem finding the product of the numbers, so I'm going to do that part for you. What I want you to concentrate on is where to put the decimal point in the answer. Ready? The first number has three decimal places. The second number has one number to the right of the decimal point. Therefore, we need to put the decimal point so that there are how many places to the right of that point? Correct, 4. Therefore, the decimal point goes between the 1 and the 8 in the product. When multiplying decimals, all we need to do is find the product of the numbers and then place the decimal point. The decimal position is the total of the number of places that are in the, all the numbers being multiplied together. Hopefully this mini lesson has provided you with enough of a reminder so that you can go and multiply decimals with confidence. Thanks for watching this lesson on multiplying decimal numbers. It is always great to have you with us and we look forward to seeing you again in another lesson.